located in West Footscray, tucked behind the car dealerships and industrial buildings, lives a small hole in the wall, Wrangler Studios, a DIY music venue and studio, welcome to people from all walks of life. I was fortunate enough to speak with Dean, the owner, about his role and the history of the venue. <coughs> My name is Dean Tullison, I'm 33 years old and I'm the founder of Wrangler Studios. Running Wrangler is pretty much a full-time job. Um, I've studied sound engineering and also um, performance, music performance, so I'm the in-house sound guy. I make sure everything's fixed and ready to go for, for each show. Uh, um, I'm also here basically every day making sure that this place is, is, is tidy and ready to go. About eight years ago, a couple of friends were running a kind of similar-ish warehouse in Brunswick where they were putting on gigs maybe every month or two. Um, it was basically just a warehouse in their backyard, but they'd set it up really nice with this big, huge stage. I ended up loading in a PA, doing the sound every gig. Unfortunately, that place ended up getting torn down to build apartments, so I was kind of just like stuck with a PA and, and that itch that really wanted to start doing these shows again. So ended up just jumping on the gum tree and finding this space and rest is history. So I've always been someone that wanted to get involved in basically everything to do with music or anything and I'd always try and get help out and get involved. And then when I started this place, I was like, this is basically the perfect spot for other people to come in and do the same sort of kind of things as what I was doing where you, you get to have hands-on experience and you get to learn in the industry and then you get to go and take those out those skills elsewhere um, so the volunteer is basically just that like I'm just trying to help out other people as much as I got helped out when I was kind of starting out when I went to film with Wrangler they were setting up for the drunk mums isolate live stream a concert being performed to raise money for struggling musicians during corona times as the show was being set up I used the opportunity to get to know some of the staff that works at the venue. I'm Britt, I'm 30 years old and I run the canteen at Wrangler Studios. I'm Jaden, um, I'm 31 and I am the booking agent at Wrangler Studios. My name is James, I'm 23 and I'm a photographer at Wrangler Studios. My name is Darius, I'm 33 and I help Dean and Britt run Wrangler Studios. I'm James, I'm 18 and my role at Wrangler Studios is mainly working on the door. So I handle all of the gigs at Wrangler. Uh, before every show I'm here setting up, setting up the show, making sure it's all clean and tidy. Which you can imagine is hundreds. Scanning tickets, collecting door payments. Running live gigs. And I make sure all the kids are safe and hydrated. Setting up promotion, we do a lot of uh, videos and things as well just to keep social media presence and you know just keep in touch with our community. So I first started going to Wrangler when I was probably about 13 or 14. I've been coming to Wrangler shows for about four years. I first became involved with Wrangler when I heard about the place opening up from a friend. And so I was going to gigs. I saw Dean at the dog park. I decided to ask Dino if he needed any spare hands around the venue. And then we just got talking about Wrangler and then I started coming over and... I really noticed that there was a, a gap in the market for all ages venues within Victoria. Then over the years, you know, just going to a lot more gigs and hanging out with the guys and over time just becoming part of the team. I just fell in love with the place as soon as I got here. I met up with Dean, proposed my ideas of um, of running all ages shows in the, in his space. And, you know, everything that he'd done, it was just such an awesome place to be that I just had to be a part of it, so. And uh, luckily enough, he thought that was a great idea and we've been doing it ever since. Back in the studio, the set list was written. The amps were set up, the push-ups were done, the camera was working, and all battle stations were manned in preparation for the show to go off. And go off it certainly did. We are live at Wrangler Studios and West Fortescray. Get off your phone, Jake. Oh, 
As the show ended, I was amazed at the atmosphere of the venue. The show was over, and it immediately went back to feeling like a group of friends hanging out with each other. It was this moment that made me realise how important venues like these are to people, and just how bad the pandemic had hit them. I don't think anyone foresee 2020 happening the way that it did. Covid's been a bit of a bitch, to be honest. <laughs> a lot of what I do is gig photography, and without gigs it makes it very difficult to actually do the photography for it. Weekends worth of sellout shows. We're going to teach people how to record, film their own gigs and, um, and record their own bands and everything. Um, and then everything just stopped. We've got no income, <laughs> you know. And uh, that's definitely a very scary place to be in. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a chef by trade and then I, I work at Wrangler. So both of my industries have failed. With everything that we did here at Wrangler, that's had to come to a, a complete halt. So we basically, we basically had to stop everything and reevaluate what we're doing and, and, and try and figure out how we're going to make our next rent and make our next bills. We've still got everything to pay that, like, yeah, it just doesn't go away. We've still got to try and earn money somehow. It's very scary, I, I will admit. I can't, I, I couldn't, couldn't say a specific highlight. There's literally been endless amounts of good times. The Wrangler volunteer program is incredible. Wrangler Studios has been one of the biggest joys of my life. Wrangler definitely makes me feel loved. You smile every time you're walking up to the doors because you know you can just forget about life for the next few hours and surround yourself with with the good people there. It's a place where anybody can come and feel safe. The Wrangler is a community. It's, 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 it's a family. One of the best all ages venues in the world as far as I'm concerned. We offer such a unique experience, you know, to every person that comes through our door. Taking kids under our wings and teaching them what we know and teaching them how to run shows efficiently and still keeping it a really safe space where everybody feels comfortable is you know, it's a really valuable thing in a teenager's life the best way to support wrangler at the moment is to buy our merchandise one of the best ways that you can support a place like wrangler especially in a time like this is just to be involved we've got uh hats um we've got tote bags and we've also got shirts as well for sale mostly i think just stay in touch we will be open like stay connected with us on social media and you know stay motivated we're doing everything that we can to keep the vibes good and you know so that when when it's ready you can come back and it's gonna be awesome just just keep in touch unfortunately we're gonna have nine months of bills that we're gonna have to catch up on like if you want to donate um, you know you can you know directly to us if you'd like to it's incredibly important to have a space for young people to either express themselves musically or just to go and enjoy that sort of scene it's like nothing else um, it's a magical world and we love it here it's crazy it's unbelievable I couldn't imagine doing anything else and I don't want to do anything else. It's, it's genuinely the most heartwarming thing I've done in my life. <laughs> this is how it feels to work at Wrangler. <laughs>